just received my mini PC from Blank U55. Let's unbox and take a look. Oh, by the way, this is a 4K monitor I recently received. It has a magnets in the back, so this cover can be easily removed. Very handy. All the links can be found down below. All right. By the way, that is my Mac Mini over there, which is hooked up to another uh, portable monitor 1080p uh, um, mounted on the pack board. Okay, I see power adapter, HDMI cable, another short HDMI cable. Looks like I'm not sure. Uh, this very lightweight. Look at this. Interesting. Very, very lightweight. Two HDMI ports, two USB ports, one, um, one gigabyte LAN, 12 volt DC input, so that must be this power brick. And we got a Type C port here and two USB 3. A headphone jack also looks like we it supports the uh, microphone as well. A power button, and that's it. Let's see. The power specification is one amp max at I'm sorry, uh, three amps at 12 volts, which means the maximum power output would be 36 watts. All right. Let me remove the power cord also I got a power meter here so hopefully I can get some readings from my uh, power strip on my lap on my right okay all right I'll plug this one in I'm going to use the uh, U uh, HDMI to micro USB HDMI port, the cable that came with my monitor to connect to the 4K monitor, like that. And this is the power input for the power supply for the monitor. And now power on, power on the monitor. Okay. That's cool. It's on. And I would um, plug in my Logitech keyboard and mouse. Just like so. In the back. I think USB 2 would be sufficient. This iPhone 11. Uh, camera is amazing with this wide angle stuff. Yeah. Power on my Logitech uh, wireless keyboard. And while it's booting, you can see this high 4K resolution is amazing. Look at that. It's putting up for the first time. And let's take a look at the accessories from this computer. So this computer. Uh, yeah, it is indeed a very short HDMI cable. Okay. English.
I've never seen such a short HDMI cable before. But I think it would be perfect for this uh, 1080p monitor over there, which has a full HDMI um, port size. This one cannot do this um, full HDMI. Another HDMI cable. All right, I'll just keep them as I have too many cables lying around. So I'm not gonna... Okay, that's, that's basically all, everything in the box. And we have a computer work, region, United States. So this is accessories from the computer. Interestingly, it has a piece of uh, mounting bracket for mounting on the wall or behind the monitor. Skip layout. All right, just keep going. Looks like we're getting there, All right? Um, turning the la uh, <coughs> camera away as I enter the passcode to my Wi-Fi. Next. Since he has so many USB ports, it would be interesting to, you know, to use it as a power supply also to, you know, connect these anchor wireless charging pads to the another USB 2 port in the back so I can charge my phone and even this Anchor earbuds that would um, support wireless charging. I'll just mount it on top and it charges my earbuds from Soundcore. Right, um, offline account so I can skip the Windows account for now. Get it now. Unlimited XP. What, what am I supposed to do? Not sure. Uh, offline account. Limited experience. That's fine. Just some simple passwords. Uh, next. Security questions, all right. Looks very performant, this uh, computer. It's pretty fast. Right. Of course, disable advertising ID and uh, avoid sharing any data with Microsoft. Location, no. Diagnostic data, no. Tailor experience, no. That's it. I got 8 GB and 128 uh, GB of storage SSD. It's not uh, some other, you know, cheap um, hard drive. It's actually a real SSD card. 
AGB um, two USB two and uh, two USB three. It's plenty of ports. It has an internal M two. That's the SSD I'm talking about, and one uh, it supports another has a SATA HDDP HDD port. Supports up to two GB. The, the fan is spinning. I'm not sure if you can hear the sound. I'll move my camera closer so you can hear it, maybe. Does not feel hot at all, but uh, the, I can slightly hear the fan noise, a little bit noise, but totally acceptable. It's a really good machine. I like it. So I, I may mainly use my Mac Mini here as a streaming device for my Amazon Live videos, but um, this would be an even better solution as I can even mount it on the pegboard or on the ceiling here. It's great. These screws are for monitor in the back of the monitor versal mount, I think. Well, I guess we're up. Like, it's only been less than 10 minutes. And we are in Windows. And full, full fully uh, 4K supported. Look so good. This one is just amazing. Wow. It's great. Look at this monitor. Let's try YouTube. Let's open another tab, YouTube. Love this 4K monitor. Of course, the uh, text appears to be a little bit smaller than I would expect. And I would go to the display and perhaps adjust the font size. Yes, here. It's a gorgeous screen and the fan is still spinning. I can hear the noise. The LED light is here on. Let's see. Uh, let's see font size. As you can see, the resolution is 3840 uh, times 2160. Recommended. Let's see font size. Adjust font size. This is one hundred and fifty percent recommended. I guess I can live with this. Maybe two hundred percent. This looks much much better. This screen is almost like a retina display level. It's great. Hmm. Looks like the IE browser just crashed a little bit. This is a fully licensed uh, Windows 10 machine. It's great. Yeah, it looks pretty snappy actually. But the browser isn't the best. I'll probably get Chrome and to get a better web browsing experience but overall looks pretty good office 3d view what, what the hell is this 